What is up, I love basketball TV, it's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to master your step back. I'm gonna show you a couple different step backs that you can get into that are gonna help you to create a ton of space and to get your shot off whenever you want to. Let's get to it. Oh my God, never gonna stop. Dig up in the go and chase my legal name to pop. Y'all a bunch of birds, I ain't even got So the first one that we're gonna look at is gonna be our punch step back. You see a ton of players use this all the time, and what we wanna do is focus on the footwork and your ability to create space and how to also place the ball. So. I'm gonna start as a righty going left because it's typically gonna be easier. So what I wanna do is pound the ball, left hand, right foot at the same time, boom, hit that one hard. And then from here, I'm gonna use this foot as leverage. It's gonna push me out into a one, two off that step back. So we're gonna go one dribble, boom, and then two steps out of that. And that way we can stay low and rise into our shot. Now, let's focus on the ball placement. So we're here taking this dribble, right? Obviously the defender's on this side. What we need to do is rip the ball to the left, boom, keep it away, and now I can get into my shot. If I was going the other way, of course, we're ripping the ball to this hip so we can go straight into our shot. Second piece is to stay low, let's stay balanced. Now, the lower we are, the longer our strides are, the more space we can create and more balanced we are when we land in a wide base so we can jump straight up, straight down to make more shots. So, one, two, we're low. My feet are perfectly aligned straight to the basket and we're straight up into that shot. The ball was protected the whole way through my punch step back. This is harder sometimes going to the right because what you don't want to do is actually step backwards because now my right shoulder is not aligned and I have to pivot and turn it kind of in the air. So when you go to your strong side, it's more of a side step, creating that space and now I can stay squared into that shot. But when you go to the opposite or the non-dominant side, it's more of a step back to create that space and keep your shoulders aligned to the basket. So from there it's pound, one, two, pop, straight up into it. Don't allow your feet to land and take way too long. Stay low, you should be ready to shoot it the moment you land, and that way you can go up and knock it down every time. Now the second one is gonna be one that you see a ton of players use nowadays, and James Harden was one of the pioneers toward this move, but this is our touch step back. So now instead of pounding at the same time, we're actually gonna let the ball float, meaning I will take that dribble, and then when the ball is spinning in my hand, then I will step back. So we're just delaying the same thing we did earlier. And this is really, really good so we can sell separate moves. So the most common ways you're gonna see this are off like a crossover or some sort of between the legs. And then from there, as that ball is hanging and we're selling our drive, that's when we pop back. So I'll show you the easiest way to get it done. We'll go right to left crossover. Boom. And then from here, we kind of just hop. Right foot will hit and I'm gonna step back. So I wanna relax, relax, right foot pop and we're doing the same step back we did before. You see the same footwork, right? It's right foot pushes, left right under that. Boom, push, one, two. Or here, push, one, two. Here, push, one, two. That's all we're doing. And this is not a travel because we have not picked up the ball. If I pick it up, then my steps count. But imagine I did this. One, one, two, and I kept drilling without caring. I'll show you one time without caring. One, two and we keep drilling without letting that hand go under the ball. I'll even show you with my hand more on top. Right, and my hand's never going under. So none of those steps count until I pick it up, which occurs now. And that's when my steps count. So you are able to do this. If you're nervous about it, stick with the punch. So let's go the other way. We'll come here, move, push, one, two. We'll create that space, rise into the shot, make sure to stay low, make sure to rip the ball, and then we can get straight up into the shot. A couple other ways you see this done, over the snatch. So now we can go backwards. So I'm pulling that ball back, right, left, right. Pull back, right, left, right. Creating that space, or boom, left, right, left. Just pushing off that step. Creating that extra little space there, making sure we don't pick up the ball too early. This is a travel. But this is not. As long as you pick it up late. So focus on delaying your pickup, delaying the step back, and creating that extra space. Wide steps, staying low, rip the ball, and then lift up. The last one we'll talk about is our misdirection. So with this one, it's super important that we let the ball go one way, but the body goes the opposite direction. And you can actually use both of the previous step backs with this one. So let's say that I did a right to left crossover and the ball is in my left hand. Normally you are gonna step back to the left. Or if I pound the ball with the right hand, you normally step back to the right. But with a misdirection, you could actually pound it with the right, but step back to the left. Or right to left crossover, 
but step back to the right. So as long as we're going away from the ball, it's a great way to make the defense think we're going one way and even create double space by sending them that way while I come this way. So this is beautiful because we're able to get so much more separation pretending that we're coming that way, but really we're going the opposite direction. And this can be done with any move as long as we get them to, to believe we're going in one direction first. So the most common way you see this done is left hand through the legs, separation here, coming back to the left. You've also seen a lot of players like Chris Paul start to adapt the right hand dribble and pulling it back towards the left. You see that ball ripping back, the balance straight into the shot. You start to see some other players like Harden come here, boom, and then rip it back on that tap, right? Not having to actually pound the ball. You could pound it or you don't have to. As long as you're able to create that space, be quick with your feet, get enough separation to rise into that jumper. So we're focusing today on pounding, creating space, relax, creating space, and then sell and creating space. And working with all three of those is gonna get you so much space to create all that distance that you need to be able to get your shot off whenever you want to. And now let's look into some drills that are gonna help you to master these, not only so you know how to do them, but so you can execute them in a game. So for this drill, we'll play five in a row on all three step backs. However, we wanna go both ways. So it's a total of six missions that we have to complete here. So I'll start right hand pounds, boom, boom, creating that separation off of our first one, which is our punch step back. And we have to make five in a row this way. Pound it, separate, shot. Once you complete that, then it's left hand, pound, separate, and shot. Okay, you got your right hand down, you got your left hand down, your footwork feels comfortable, you're able to stay low, rip the ball, and get in your shot the same way every time. Then you have your relaxed step back shot. And you can just go five to the right in a row, and you move is fine. Relax, boom, boom, tap, one, two, straight into that left side, we're going five in a row. This way you're comfortable with your punch and your touch step backs, you're good off both of those so you can throw off the defenders. Now, your last one is going to be your misdirection, where I fake right, but go left. I need five in a row this side, and then fake left, go right. We're getting five in a row on this side. And you cannot move on until you're hitting five in a row. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.